I am probably sick right now, but screw it, Digimon. <laughs> so yeah, let's keep this going, I guess. Just whatever the crap this is right now. Alright. Uh, yeah, alright, we're low up episode, like, 44. Alright. Right, because it's like a different thing. I actually see the towel, and it's like dark sun, dark spore. Oh my gosh, it's taking a bit to load up. Okay, yeah, this is gonna be annoying. This is gonna be super annoying, actually. <sighs> Alright, well, we do what we gotta do. Alright, don't want to full screen it, but it's fine. We're at second zero. Alright, hope everyone's ready. We're at, like, episode 44. Yeah, 44. Alright, so let's keep this going in 3, 2, 1, go. Alright, we're, like, a second behind. Also, we have the intro now for some reason. What the heck? That wasn't there last time. That wasn't there last time at all. Yeah, that was weird. Well, at least now I do a proper sound test, so hang on. Is there an echo? Alright, hang on, I actually need to look at OBX for a second. Uh... There shouldn't be. But maybe there is? Well, there's only one way to check, and I guess that's to, like, you know, do a sound test after a sec. I'm hoping that's just, like, a fluke of Twitch or whatever, but... Yeah. I know, let me see what I can do. Like, if there's Echo, like, I probably won't restart the episode, but, like... Yeah, that'd be pretty bad. Never had that problem before, but it's been a while since I've had to, like, move stuff around. What's up with these creepy kids? We're just dying to know. Are you Ken Ichijoji? Yes, what about it? I knew it. Wow, I've heard all about you. You're smart and you really like sports. I bet that you could do just about anything if you really wanted to. It'd be awesome to be like that. Eh? Uh. This man, and he told me he knew a way I could do it. What man? <laughs> you can't blame me, can you? What? Are they training up kids to be the? Wait, what the? literally that effing like stupid effing moment from Black Clover season one except it's like actually in frame where it's like oh look at this random effing grown adult hiding amongst the kids but it's like it actually like shows it so it's just like you just look at the group of kids and he just like stands up from like a crouch position like crouching behind the effing children just to reveal himself for dramatic. Whoa. Oh, this is the dumbest. Oh, this is so dumb. Not 
All right, we're talking about fusion, right? Because there's like, oh yeah, I might need a little boost for this. Okay. Alright, so we got Hawkmon's form. Okay, yeah. Man, if I'd hit a button to, like, mute the visuals, because I'm sure people don't want us to be just wiping my nose on stream, but, like, just, yeah, I can't, I can't help it right now. Heals the truth. It was you. You sent the email. Oh my gosh. I was very concerned about you and thought it would be comforting. Dragon Ball Z man sent the email this whole time. Check it out. Right. Hey, it looks like a Gundam antagonist, but when you like you zoom up on his face, it is very Dragon Ball. Okay. I want you to tell me exactly who you are and what it is you want with me here. Do you now? <laughs> so what the crap is this guy's like thing again? Like, why did we have to like? All right. Right, I should actually look back at that flashback after the- Well, after I finish the episodes, I'll look back at Like, I'll see it again either way, because I'll be watching the sub, but yeah, that's interesting. If Kin was, like, inspired to make, like, Chimeramon off of Millenniumon, then, like... Yeah... Oh no, the train! Yeah, the train though! <laughs> oh my gosh, this is... It's taking so long! Oh my gosh! The second train. <laughs> There's so many trains. <laughs> Holy crap. As soon as he gets what we want, we are out of here. Got it? Man. Like, our K-Mon Mummy Mon's personalities have kind of, like, eased off a lot. Ever since I first saw you, I knew you had something special. A dark spirit deep inside. If I planted the dark spore, I knew that it would be able to grow. You're not making a lot of sense. Okay. What dark spore? It's a magnificent device. It makes a person smarter and better at sports. Oh my god. Well, Literally better at sports. <laughs> The dark spore literally made him smart. Oh, that's that's so dumb. Oh no. Wait a minute. 
Isn't this the thing that Paimon put inside Genai, or was that like... Because that was like a ball. This is like a spiky ball. Ken, why did you not think they had evil motives for this? Yeah, I don't know what I just did. Well, I don't know what effect on, like, Ken exactly, but yeah. What? Okay, sure. That's a weird attack. Oh, I guess the Dune Trio is just going down one by one. So these kids are not affected by the Dark Spore yet. But they're affected now, so all that creepy smelling in unison was for absolutely nothing. She probably would like a puppy, but she'd also probably eat it. Wait, what? I think, I think that might be a Japanese trend of like people in blackface. I'm not 100% sure though. I'm going to assume it's not. But, like, if it was, that would be too surprising. I'm just Kavla- well, Anna. As well, like, focused- oh my- he drew a little truck with the crap. That's such, like, why would you do that, Cody? <laughs> Alright. I don't think Vivod's up to this alone. Like, in hindsight, maybe we should have given away the guy who helps us get the only Mega. Maybe that was a really terrible idea, you know? Why, like... Yeah, I know. Maybe it'll make more sense why I watch the sub, but I don't know why Ken just let the truck go. Maybe I missed a line, but it didn't seem super clear. Yeah, destroy him! He's literally a devil! <laughs> Like, this is the most evil a Digimon could possibly be, you know? At least, like, Tilio F and Cody has some reserves about this. At least that feels right. Why are you going champion? You. Okay, never mind. They're going, like, fusion. Makes sense. Fusion forms seem pretty good. They honestly seem pretty powerful. Oh my gosh. Wait, we may kill off the R2 Dunes in this episode. Oh no, CG bats! Alright. 
Wow, Marine Devimon got like a heck of a lot bigger since last episode, I just realized. <laughs> oh no, that looks so bad. Well, at least the shot is cool, where it's like, you know, the like, hard lighting on these giant characters. Wait, why is Sakuyamon so huge? Sorry, Shakomon. Shakomon wasn't nearly that big before. What? Yeah, that's one heck of a costume. Makes a wall of your arms like five feet longer than the other. Jeez. Well, at least the art characters do have something to do, if nothing else. At least they are still helping. Oh. They're gonna try and, like, slip through the, like, portal Paramon came through. Man, why'd just screw over Kin's entire arc? Look what the heck? You can learn something from all this, kids. This is an example of how your exalted hero gives the cold shoulder to those less worthy than himself. <laughs> yes, listen to the man in the trench coat. Jeez. Like, the lying in some of these scenes is actually really cool. It's just a shame the actual plot is just so bad this time. Like, the actual writing on display right now is just so dumb. Yoli just bored decked an ultimate. Yeah, Yoli's is definitely, like, super dead. Wait, freeze frame? Okay, there we go. Yeah. Yeah, there's no way around that. Like, this is an interesting thing to explore in, like, the first season or whatever. But it's like, we've already crossed this threshold. We've learned this lesson. And, like, it kind of does take something away when the Digimon you have to learn this lesson from are, like, literally devil Digimon. I don't know, man. I feel like there's not much of a moral gray area in, like, destroying a literal devil. We have to do something before someone gets hurt. Let's go. There's no sense wasting more time just sitting here. Like, I thought that this season's trying to be, like, darker and stuff, but, like, it's too late on this. Like, it's too late, and we should have learned this lesson way sooner. Like, both, you know, like, as far as the season goes, and as far as, like, the series goes. Because, like, we've already, like, had characters go through this arc, basically. And sure, it's, like, you know, a lot faster, but, like, they did get through it. And, like... For his characters to face, like, this should have been a thing with, like, the Dark Tower Digimon, right? 
they should have been like, can we really destroy these things if they're still like sentient or whatever? And they should have like got over it and just been like, oh, these things are just like the dark towers, you know, they don't care what happens. Man, I, I just hate the direction this is going, honestly. Like, I really do. At least we'll, like, finally be done with this crap yeah, after, like, this episode or whatever, probably. But, like, still, right? You mean Creepy Mon, right? Not Daemon? Yeah, I played Didrom World 3. I know he's creepy, Mon. <laughs> Man. That actually does raise a bit of a weird question, because, like... I know who the foul boss is, but, yeah. Creepy Mon's, like, legit one of, like, you know, the seven deadly sin Digimon. He's, like, one of the, like, great demons. So, yeah, the... Thing they're gonna have to fight after this doesn't feel like it's nearly as impressive just you know just knowing the lore behind this thing right so yeah, as for the episode itself it's like i guess they did you know go through the like effing development you know they like they did do the thing they did like you know finally learn like all right we have to like kill our enemies sometimes and stuff and yeah, I, I get what they're going for, you know. Like, I get the idea. It's like, oh yeah, Didron, like, starts out so, like, lighthearted. And then, you know, like, it matures as it goes on with the audience or whatever, right? And I get that this is meant to be, like, an extension of that. It's like, you know, yeah, we're on, like, the second series, you know. It's time to tackle some, like, more complex moral issues and stuff. But, like... It feels like whoever Didron tries to tackle, like, big moral issues like this, it just feels, like, so toothless and, like, you know, just weak, right? And I'm sure, like, you know, like, so far there's, like, definitely been moments where, you know, people probably do have, like, very cherished, like, you know, fond memories of, like, Angemon's sacrifice and stuff like that. You know, and, like, effing, like, the moment where my Osmon, like, killed the Digimon, or, like, the death of Waymon. You know, and, like, that was probably really big, earth-shattering thing to, things to, like, some people, like, you know, watch, and, like, a kid's show specifically. Like, I feel like, yeah, like, I haven't watched, like, all of the original series as a kid, but I do remember, like, you know, bits of it that did stick with me like that, but it's like, you know... Now, it's like, just looking back, it feels like a lot of that stuff just doesn't hold up as well. Because, like, it's partially because I've seen it before, and it's partially because there's just so much stuff that's, like, you know, like, come out since then that's done this way better. Like, I feel like, you know, as looking back, it's like... Demon Slayer's probably got one of my, like, best, like, you know, my favorite executions of, like, this idea, where it's, like, you know, just starts off, there's, like, a really reliable reason why, you know, the main character is like, oh, I can't kill the demons, or whatever, and he gets into that situation, and within, like, one of the early episodes, it's, like, episode two or three or something, like, he basically ends up in that situation, he has to do what he has to do, you know? And from that point on, he's like, all right, well, yo, I'm gonna be respectful, I'm not gonna be a monster of that. But, like, he understands that, like, yo, sometimes you have to, like, fight that monster. And, yo, that, like, sticks with the character, right? And I think that's sort of, like, a way better way to kind of deal with this type of thing than, yo, like, having all these excuses and sort of, like, yo like, stretching it out like this. Because we all know what the end result of this was going to be. Like, unless this makes Yoli, like, turn evil or something, like, you know. Like, we know where this is going. It's just sort of, like, you know, str taking this, like, idea and it's just, like, stretching it out, like, way past its welcome, right? 
And I don't know. Maybe it's just because I'm looking at this from, like, a more modern perspective. And, like, you know, because I'm, like, an adult and stuff. But, yeah, I know. Part of me does feel like if I was, like, watching this as a kid, like, all the way through, I'd still be annoyed over this. And, uh, like, you know, when this reaction video goes up or more, like, in a concert or anything, you know, just maybe people don't let me know what they think about that. Like, if I had any cons out that at all, I'd actually appreciate it, because, like, I'm actually genuinely curious, like, what people's opinions are here.